Hi, and welcome to this LAWO tutorial. I want to talk about delay management. On the quad split here, you see we've switched input 1 to output 1, corresponding with input 2 to output 2. The VPRO 8 is capable of having 8 frames of video delay and 320 milliseconds of audio delay. You can divide that delay, that amount of delay, from your, from your input to your output. Let me show you how to do it on the GUI. For example, if you want to add delay on the input side, we go to SEI in, click on delay, and here we see an overview of the video channel and all the four audio groups of input one. If you want to add delay on the video line, we click the video channel, we click enable, and we add the amount of delay as much as we want, up to eight frames. Let's say I take two frames. Because input 1 is switched to output 1, we will see that if we close the SEI inputs, go to the SEI outputs, select output 1, that the two frames of input delay is already there. I can add on top of those two frames even more delay by enabling it and adding it onto the two existing two frames. We see we have now two frames of delay of the input and three frames of delay of the output. In total, five frames of delay. It works exactly the same on the audio side. For example, if we want to add audio delay on input 2, on group A and B, we select group A and B like this, we press enable, and we add as much audio delay as we want with a maximum of 320 milliseconds. Let's take 80 milliseconds as an example. Since we've switched input 2 to output 2, we will see that those 80 milliseconds are there on the output side. And we can easily add more delay on the selected channels like this on top of the 80 milliseconds. Maybe you're asking yourself the question why we should add delay on the input side and on the output side. For example, if you're in a big venue and you receive a feed, a video feed and an audio feed which comes via another part, then via the delay management on the input side you can get those two signals in sync. That embedded incoming signal goes to different locations inside that venue, different screens for example, if they need different timing, different delay, then you can just add the output delay uh, for every signal um, separately. Let me explain you another option for delay management, which is called AFV, which stands for Audio Follow Video. AFV will automatically adjust the delay of the audio channels accordingly to the delay the video channel will receive while doing frame synchronization or frame phasing. This was the introduction to the delay management of the VPRO 8. Thanks for watching.